Hey guys, how's everybody today? I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I'm so excited. I found some really, really cute finds, some things I've never seen before, and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. And I hope you guys can find them in your Dollar Tree if you like them. You know, we don't all have the same style, but I found some really cool things. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the food first. So first thing I found were these TGI Fridays, and these are the mac and cheese, the baked, and these come in the free pack. So I grabbed those. These Those come and go at my Dollar Tree. I grabbed some cheese doodles, and this is 5.5 ounces. I grabbed some more of the Horizon. I grabbed the cinnamon and I grabbed the honey. And these each are 7.5 ounces. And these are cinnamon and honey grams made with organic whole wheat. So I'm like I said, a subscriber had let me know that these go for about four or five dollars in your local grocery store. So and Savannah really enjoyed these, so I'm happy they still have them available at my Dollar Tree. I also grabbed some of these, and this is new. This is a new brand at my Dollar Tree, and this is Orchard Naturals, and these are mangoes in lightly sweet in coconut water, and this is Best Buy 10-6-2017, and it says, excellent soy, soy, source of vitamin C in non-BPA packaging, and it has three four-ounce bowls, so I think that just looks yummy. If she doesn't like it, I'll eat it. Next thing I grabbed, all right, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, this is a Hellman's house, okay? I've never tried anything else. I've been seeing this here and there, and this is the Calder's Gourmet Real Mayonnaise, and this is 10 fluid ounces. Now, and this expires 6 2018 I tried this a little bit when I got home, and this is actually really good. I mean, it's so comparable to the Hellman, so we'll see. Lou's going to be the real, because anything but Hellman's, he's like, no, not going to happen. But we'll see. You know, I'm going to see what he thinks of it, but I think it's really tasty, just like Hellman. So we'll see what happens. Next thing I grabbed was this 4 seed breadcrumbs, and this is the Japanese style, and this is in the panko, and these are plain. It says light and crispy. This is eight ounces. This was a great find. I love using this panko breadcrumbs on fish. It's such a great top um, seasoning on uh, any sort of fish, really. I mean, I've used it on so many I used it on blackfish. I used it on sea bass. I mean, just so many different things. So it's very, very good. I We enjoy it here. So I thought this was a great find. So I'm glad I found it. I also found these. These are were new. And this is the Wasa brand. And these are, this is a flatbread. And these are called Thins. And this is rosemary and sea salt. And it includes two packs. And it's a whole grain. So I think these look very good and tasty. Oh, I guess there's there's a whole different line. There's crisp and light, there's crisp bread, and then there's thins. So, yeah, I've never tried these, but I'm sure I'll like them. I grabbed a couple. I only took left one out. I put the others in the um, freezer. These Jenny O turkey burgers. I think I've hauled these before, and I think I these are so good, guys. If you guys have not tried these, try these. These are so, so good. If you like turkey burgers... It get, it's the Jenny O in this one-third pound patty, all natural, used by 520-2018. And, and it's pretty big. I mean, really. It's nice and thick. You can't beat that. I mean, really, in a pinch, you're all set. You grab two of them or three, whatever, and it makes a nice dinner. Um, I also grabbed this. This is Barilla, and this is traditional basil pesto. I... I was so surprised to see this, and I, I really enjoy pesto on using it all different ways. Now, this is, yeah, like I said, this is just the traditional basil, and this is 6.3 ounces. So I thought that was a great find, because pesto is not cheap, especially the Barilla brand. I was very surprised to see that, so yay. I also grabbed um, 
the colon culinary harvest twice baked pita chips and these are in the sea salt this is i bought these before these are awesome um we really really enjoy these and this um four ounces for these i found some old-fashioned hearth six plain bagels premium quality plain bagels we enjoy these i stick these in the freezer and then, um, you know, when we want one, we'll take it out, pop it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, and then take it apart and then pop it in the um, toaster. So, because we don't eat a lot of bagels, but, you know, here and there, you, sometimes you want a bagel, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> I think that's it with the food, guys. So, let's move on to the other stuff, and I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, you know what? I'm going to shut these lights off because I have to show you guys. I hope this will work. I've never done this. I'm going to leave one light on. Let's see. Make it a little bit dim. Look at these beautiful, beautiful candle holders I found. I put a votive in there just so you guys could see. But look at that. And it's sort of like a the rim here. Let me try and be careful here. The rim here is a gel. It's like a jelly, which I thought was so cool. I've never seen these before, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All the dried fruit and twigs and... But I have another one, too. Mine, I only saw these two styles. And then I, there's this one. This one I love. I definitely have to get more of these. But look at that with the berries in there. And then there some more twigs and leaves and... Oh, I just thought these were beautiful. Especially if I made it really dark in here. They will just look gorgeous. But yeah, like I said, you know what? Let me show you real quick. How am I going to do this? Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, well. Okay. There we go. What I do for you guys? I just spilled wax everywhere, but that's okay. Anyhow, but yeah, I wanted to show you, like, the inside here. Look at how cool that is. That's all, like, a, um, what do you call this? I know there's a specific name for it. It's like a jelly. But anyway, I just thought these were gorgeous. If you guys see these, I mean, you can use these for fall, for Christmas. They're just so, so pretty. So I was excited to find those. And I was excited to show you guys those too. So next candles I found were these. These were new at my Dollar Tree. And these are the, this one's the pumpkin cheesecake. And this is by the Star, yes, the Star Candle Company. And it has the double wick. And then I found this one, which I can't wait to burn. And I hope it has a good throw. I'm not sure. This one is the rhubarb crumble. I love strawberry rhubarb pie. Oh, so yummy. And that one also has a double wick. And I found this beautiful. It's another candle holder, but shaped in, you know, a leaf. Um, they had all different colors of these. They had brown, which I want to go back for because I just thought it was perfect for fall. Um, brown, I think they had a blue, some other colors, but yeah, I just, I chose this one just, that's the first one I grabbed, and I didn't want to get all of them, because I was getting so much, and I needed to slow my roll, and step back, because I got a lot of candle holders. I also found these, which I just thought they were so pretty. I had to put, believe me, I don't know, my Dollar Tree had so many candle holders, I'm going to end up going back and grabbing the other different ones I didn't find, but these I found... Right there, I got silver and gold, and this is pretty much the only colors that they had for this style. I got that, and then I also got these. I just thought these were so gorgeous. So I grabbed those. Oh, boy. Okie dokie. All right. Any other candles? No, that's it for all my candle things. Yes. Um. All right. So when I was down in the cosmetic aisle, I ran into these. These are from Global Beauty Care, and these are cleansing nose strips, and these are charcoal, removes blackheads, unclogs pores, works in 10 minutes. Now, I have some blackheads on my nose. My, it's not too, too bad, but you know, I get some, so I'm going to give these a try and see what happens. You know, I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll do a video on it. I don't, we'll see. But, um, yeah, that, I don't know. I don't know if it might be a little bit too gross for some people, but, you know, I don't know. I'll let you guys know. 
I found a lot of the e.l.f. products that everybody's been hauling. I found actually even more than I found last time. I grabbed, these are both matte lip color. One is in scarlet. Oh, let me put the lights back on. Sorry, guys. Okay. One is in Scarlet Night and one is Mulberry Maven. So I grabbed these. I've always had good luck with these um, matte lipsticks from e.l.f., so I was happy to find them for a dollar. I think they're like 2 or $3 at your local drugstore. I also found this. This is the Extra Lip Gloss in the color Brett. I'm not a huge fan of lip glosses, but you know what? This would be great to put in giveaways and, you know, stocking stuffers, things like that. Let me show you. I got the Shine Eraser, and these contains 50 sheets. And these are just like blotting papers. When you're very oily, um, you t it's a thin sheet of paper, and you take it. So let me, you know what? I'm going to show you guys real quick because I'm sure there's people out there who don't know what these are. See, it comes in a package like that, and then it's a tiny little sheet. It's sort of like rice paper, but it's very thin, and what you would do is you take it, and wherever you get oily, you would blot it. I always get oily around my nose, and it's supposed to absorb all of your oil. I really, I just powdered before I did this video, so it's not really going to show much, but they are great whether you wear makeup or not. I mean, if you have issues with um, oil, you should grab these for a dollar. You can't go wrong. So, anyhow, I found this, the um, Brow Comb and Brush. I could always use that. And then I found the Elf Foundation Brush. Could definitely always use that. I found the Elf Eyebrow Stencil Kit, and it comes with a soft arch, a structured arch, a full arch, and a curved arch. So, I don't know if I'll use these or not, but I, I have so many issues with my eyebrows. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I should try them. I found this, and this says new, and then this says, it says lip lacquer, and then it says natural here. Now, what does that look like to you guys? To me, this looks like a concealer. So, you know what? Real quick, I want to open this one, too, because I don't know. I thought it was a concealer when I picked it up, but it's saying that it's a uh, a lip gloss. Let me see real quick. Yeah, look at that. I don't know. Let me see here. It says lip lacquer. Let me see. Oh, you know what? It is actually. What a pretty, pretty, um, like a nude. I'm sorry, guys. I am doing this crazy. Um, a nude color. That's really pretty. But like I said, I thought it was a concealer. And I was like, well, it's a little dark, but I can always give it away. But yeah, okay, that's pretty. Okay, we'll try it. We'll try it. Um, that's it for the elf. No, oh, I'm sorry. I found one more thing. Oh, wait, I think I already showed you guys this. Yes, I showed you guys. That was the lip gloss. Um, I'm sorry. I grabbed these also. The elf dramatic lash kit. We'll see. I don't know if I, I'm more of an Ardell girl. I don't, these look a little stiff to me and too perfect, sort of. So sometimes I'll take these when they're like this. I got some of the L.A. Color ones when the Dollar Tree had them, and I'll double them up with um, a, a, a different pair of eyelashes, like from Ardell or something like that. And it ends up working pretty nice. So I found some of the Lip Smackers. I'll just go through these really quick. I got Power Punch. I got Vanilla Ice. Dolce de Leche. Kiwi Berry Crush. Strawberry Scoop, and Cherry Berry Ball. So yeah, they were all stocked up on those again. Um, I grabbed some of this Soft Soap Fresh Breeze Hand Soap, and this is 7.5 fluid ounces. This smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to put it in my bathroom. <laughs> you know what else I found? I found another, everybody was hauling those Take It and Go travel mugs. Those um, for coffee in, or whatever you use it for. But I found this one, and this was new at my Dollar Tree. And this one actually has um, a little thing here where you could close it if need be so it doesn't spill out. But, yeah, this is nice and big. And, you know, I really liked those uh, the other cups, the ones that say take it and go, those cream-colored ones. But 
Lou was just telling me, because he does dishes a lot and we do them by hand, and he was just saying that it seems like the outside, it, the more you're washing it, is like the softer sort of it's getting. So this is really nice and thick. So, and they had all different colors of these. So I'm excited. You know, like I said, I still enjoy the other ones, but I'm just curious to see how, how long they'll last. So next thing I grabbed were these LA Colors Glow in the, it says Glows in Black Light. So I grabbed this and this is X-Ray. I thought it was like just glows in the dark until I just looked at it, but they're still pretty colors. Electric, um, bah, 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 bah. wavelength. I hope everybody's going to have a great weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, right? Oh, I hope everybody's off. Fluorescent. Very bright. I grabbed Luminous. Energy. Ooh, coffee. Thank you, baby. Um, Ionize. And da, 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 radioactive. Lou just brought me some coffee. If you, I, I hope you don't mind. I just want to take a quick sip. Oh, that's so good. Oh, love it. I grabbed some of these too. We always use this one for Savannah's hair. I even use it in my hair. And this is the Barbie Detangler in Cotton Candy. We always get this one. Oh, jeez. Love the smell of it. Um, yeah, and it works great. So I grabbed that. And I also, I grabbed this one. This one was new. And this is by Ra White Rain. I'm not a big fan of any of White Rain's products. But I figure it's a detangler. So we'll see how it works. It says shine and smooth. Easy to comb, wet or dry. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed this big red um, basket here. They had different colors. So... I figured this will be great just to store some stuff in, maybe in the bathroom for her toys and all products for the tub. Um, but yeah, it was nice and big. They had this one. They had a bright orange color too, which was very pretty. I also found this. This one looks pretty cool. It's Pacific. Five double-edged blades with free handle. So I thought that was different. That looks pretty cool. My dad used to use razors like that. He used to, he worked at Schick too. So we used to always get our razors for free until he retired. And razors are expensive. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I found these nails, the gold and white. Very pretty. These ones I saw, I thought these were gorgeous with that soft, soft pink. And then that marble. I got two of those. And I found these with like the butterflies, like just butterfly wings. And then I found this design. And those are like little ice cream cones, which I thought were so cute. So I got those. This is a long haul, guys. I found another one of those rose collection. I didn't have this one. Even though they don't have a throw, I just still think they're so beautiful. And that one is in current. And this is like a Tiffany blue, which I think is so, so pretty. Um, I grabbed some votives just in the um, vanilla these smell pretty good for being the Luminescence brand. I grabbed these. These, I I want to go back for more. These say that they're fridge soda can storage, but I'm going to use these here in my little beauty room and put some of my palettes in them. And I figure I could put them on the shelf and pull them out whenever I want. So, and still be able to see through them. So I thought this was a great, great find. And last but not least, I found some more of these books, guys, The um, for the pocket letters or for whatever you want to use them for. I'm going to go through them really quick. This is the 36 sheets. Very pretty. I just don't want to hold you guys up any longer than I have to. This one has 36 also. Also 36. Uh... Here's another one. I thought these are cool. I cannot wait to start doing pocket letters. I am telling you. And there's an activity paper pad. And this pad, 30 sheets. 
Yeah, I mean, I've never even noticed these before. So, I mean, they must be new. So, it's the last one. Whoops, did I get them all? Yeah, I think I did. But, yeah, so I found all of those. So, I think that's it, guys. This is, like, the longest haul I've ever done. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it for you. I will be back Sunday with another haul because I go to another Dollar Tree and hopefully they'll be stocked up for me. So guys, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Have a great day, night, whatever. Bye guys.